Welcome to the Tiz. That's right, with me, Aiden Power. And me, Nikki Bourne. And each week we will try and find out who the biggest tit is in the room. And you'll find that I start off a sentence like this, only to be followed by my friend Aiden. That's right, I'll finish the sentence like this. And whilst we introduce the audience, hello audience. And all the guests that are coming on the show. Hello guests. The Tiz. We started off on week one wearing dicky bows, but this week we are not wearing the dicky bows anymore. We've gone for a more casual, open neck look. Yeah, that's to hit our audience that is younger and more hip than us. So how the hell does it work, you're asking yourself? Yeah. Well, believe us, we don't know either. No. But I will try and run through the following rules. Do you have any rules that you would like to give out before I give through the rules? Yeah, well, let's go through some of the ground rules here first. Yeah. Uh, the, basically, we, we get... A, that's it. Yeah. We, we get a few people... Come on, you go ahead give with Give me the rules. Yeah. So here's how it all works. Okay. Every week, 17 people will audition for The Tiz. The Tiz. Each audition must last only 36 seconds, or they could face the Caribou Challenge. Caribou Challenge. Each week, five celebrities from other RT shows will add to the confusion, and you won't be really sure what you're watching anymore. Anymore. Each celebrity has one minute to enter the chatter chambers through the red door. If they don't like what they hear, they must text the word no to each other before the other contestant has exited through the blue door, ensuring that the chatter chamber is in play and open for the bonus round. (gasps) Meanwhile, viewers can poke each other on Facebook for a premium charge of just €1.53 for Johnny Logan to be released or put back into the Waffle Lounge. Just make sure you listen to Granny Chat all week long to hear what the solution was. It's as simple as that. Granny Chat. So do you understand it now, Aiden? No, not at all. I'll just keep going here, looking straight into the camera for the auto cue to see what happens next. Back to you, Nikki. Right. As you can see, Meatloaf has arrived on. S- no, sorry, it's Johnny Logan. Johnny, he, yeah. he just looks like Meatloaf. Yeah. Jeez, he looks like Lee Meatloaf a lot, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why is he wearing all that leather? He's 60. He's got a Marty Whelan kind of look as well, doesn't he? With the, the candy floss head. Anyway, here we go. We're going to go over to the chatter rooms now and find out what's going on. Joining us now on the, on the test, we have from... Where are you from? I'm from somewhere in the Midlands. From somewhere in the Midlands, Mick Turfhead. And there's, with his brand new composition, what he wrote himself, You Cut Me Deep. Take it away on the test. Yeah, well, about uh, six months ago, I went through a traumatic event that broke my heart, really. Uh, uh, Somebody that was an integral part of my life uh, turned to me and and cut me deep. Even had to go to the doctors to try and get over it. That was the inspiration behind them. You cut me deep. That's it. In times of trouble you protected me Kicking balls and climbing trees But then you turned your back on me Like a knife you cut me deep Ingrown toenail you are so cruel Betrayed me, left me like a fool Ingrown toenail, what happened to us? Now my toe is covered in pus Give it up for Mick Torfey Thanks, thanks for Thanks, Mick. Now over to Aiden, who's going to be over the other side of this room, introducing somebody else. That's right, looking straight into the camera, auto cue, and looking slightly stiff. I'm over here. Thanks, Nikki, for that big introduction. Uh, now, next up, live here on the tit, it's Frozen Pussy by a great songwriter called Barry Nozzle. Well, I've had a very traumatic uh, couple of months, you know, uh, during the cold snap there, my cat got out through the window and when I went out to the garden, it turns out it had frozen to death. So uh, that was really my main inspiration for for the getting on the tit. And I just thought, like, you know, if we could if we could win this, it'd be everything I've ever wanted in my life. So the song's called Frozen Pussy. That's it. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Here, kitty, 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 kit. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Here, kitty, 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 kit. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Here, kitty, 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 kit. Here, kitty. Hello? Tittles. Thanks a million. Thanks very much. 
So, which one will be the winner? And who will be locked in the, in the chamber of, of chat? Over to you, Aiden, with another line, please. Yeah, well, basically, what we're going to do is we're going to have a load of people just walking in and out of doors, and, and there'll be somebody on the radio then the following week, isn't it? And they'll find out then. Oh, you having the to fly in Fanny what's going on here, to be honest with you. Anyway, if you... As long as we both wear matching jackets, I think we're fine. Yeah. Let's just keep going. And we'll see you next week, and hopefully it'll all work out for the best. Can somebody give me a, a drink of water, please? That's it.